All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do today was test out or give you guys an example of this Callaway Ballistics. This is a 223. And uh, these guys started this company, decided that uh, they could fulfill a need because, uh, you know, ammo is very important these days. But what we want to do is make sure that uh, we're getting some decent accuracy out of these things. Now, this is a remanufactured ammo. So, and 55 grain, uh, 5.56, as you know, held the military thinks that 2 uh, MOA at 100 yards, 2 MOA, that would be 2 inches, uh, is satisfactory. So what I'm going to do is I built this new rifle right here. This is uh, one I call the premium build, and this is a nice setup, man. It's got the uh, Ballistic Advantage Hanson profile barrel, Geisley ha uh, handguard. We've got the Hyperfire duty trigger in here with a Palmetto State Armory, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, oh, Lord of Marty. What, what do you call that thing that's chrome looking? That guy right there. Yeah, nickel boron. So anyhow, uh, the BCM charging handle, uh, BCM Mod 3 grip, and it's just a good performer with a Yankee Hill uh, muzzle brake. Now it's interesting, I want you to guys, when you watch this video, I want you to notice the difference between the recoil from this guy versus this guy right here, which is running the Apollo S uh, from Ultradyne on the muzzle brake. Um, this thing doesn't move. And I was, I was really set back. I was like, wow, that, it's been a while since I shot anything with just a regular old birdcage on it. So uh, in addition to that, we are going to be uh, tracking all this performance. One, by there's a camera down a stream, okay? And uh, there's four targets. We're going to shoot one target with one rifle, one target with the other rifle, and uh, see how they perform. And this rifle right here, I uh, haven't zeroed it in. So we're just looking at point of impact in relation to where I've got the two targets down on the bottom right hand side. And then we'll shoot the other two. Now, just to show you how one barrel might like a round and may not, I took the liberty of uh, running some of my uh, reloads, 77 grain reloads that I'm working on. Uh, through this thing, and it was like four MOA, a four inch shot group. It was kind of silly. So, anyway, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and load these things up. Uh, this is the Callaway. This is their 223 uh, full metal jacket, 55 grain. And we're going to run a five round shot group on that bottom right hand target. And the cool thing about this, I love a small company and I like helping these guys out. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and put some ears on. And so what we're looking at, a couple of different things. And it'll be interesting to see how this works out. But standard deviation is huge when you're talking about accuracy or consistency. Um, so a lot of times with uh, factory ammo, uh, standard deviation can be all, all across the board, unless you're talking about like Nexus. I've shot a .38 uh, shot, five round shot group with that with my uh, DMR rifle. So I thought it'd be fun. Let's see how this stuff works out. We'll track the, uh, the, the muzzle velocity. And these guys are running pretty hot. So uh, let me go ahead and program this thing in first. All right, so the cool part about using the uh, Caldwell Gen 2 is that you can actually shoot it in low light. It, it has lighting <laughs> available on it, as well as it's Wi-Fi. And I've got it hooked up to an old phone. Uh, I did have to enable it or allow that thing to connect. And then, oh, by the way, uh, Death X Squad, if you guys, this thing is one of the baddest ass little tripods. There's more uses for this thing than you can shake a stick at. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring this thing up and we are going to engage that bottom right target, which what's going to happen is it's going to impact to the upper left. Uh, I haven't had time to fix the turrets on this scope. This is one bad little mamma jam. This is the 2.5 to 10 GLX by Primary Arms. It's manufactured in the Philippines. So here we go. Stand by. Okay, you see the impact up there on the right hand, uh, top left. Twenty nine eighty. Twenty eight ninety. Twenty nine twenty two. 
and 28.25. So the standard deviation on that one is, is absolutely huge. Uh, what we'll do, let's go ahead, I'm going to pull from a different box. Let's put five rounds through it and see what the difference is. Now this barrel is green. It's only had about 10 rounds through it. So is, is that a fair assessment? Well, let's see. When we get up to shooting with the uh, my competition rifle, we'll see. So you see, some rounds like a barrel, some don't. All right, we're going to shoot at the same target. And see, well, let's go to the left side target, and we'll see what that group is. Somebody's having fun. Well, see. Three thousand fifty-two. So there. All right. So we still have a standard deviation of ninety-five. What I want to show you now is I'm going to take some factory seventy-seven grain, and I'm going to run through this same rifle so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Now watch it make me a liar. Here we go. I'm going to shoot at the bottom left. We'll see where the impacts are. These barrels coming in. So those guys averaged out uh, 2,600 to 2,584. All right, enough of that. That's, this is a great little rifle and it performs. And we'll be doing a parts list build on this on my website, kb32tech.com. I think it's just getting back out and shooting is the best part. Okay, so this is a, uh, my competition rifle. I think we've done quite a few videos on it. Uh, we topped off with the uh, Primary Arms Platinum. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to run down there and put some more dots on that thing because we're getting a little clustered up. Let's do that, and then we'll uh, jump right back at it. Stand by. Okay, so here we are. We're sitting uh, with the uh, three-gun competition rifle. And again, one of the things I want you guys to take a look at is the, uh, the recoil on this thing. It's absolutely incredible. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to shoot. I put a couple dots up there. I don't know why. I could have probably just shot at those lower right hand side dots, but who knows. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to roll some of these bullets through this thing. Let's see how uh, more accurate it is than the, uh, the new rifle. And uh, I think right now this barrel is probably starting to foul up just a tad because I don't know if I've ever cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, five rounds, and uh, the only difference is we are shooting this, the dot in this scope is exactly one MOA. So what happens is when I t put it on that target, it will actually uh, cover up the entire target, the dot itself. So it, it, it's kind of one of those things, like you may see me move the rifle a tad just to bring it onto that dot, all right? So let's do this. Let's uh, see what our standard deviation is and our muzzle velocities, and we'll have some fun. Whew. Breathing is everything. And I'm working with a uh, 50 yard zero. And that was at 2896, 2885, 2878, and that's it. So we ended up with an average speed of 2890, a standard deviation of 27.45. Is 
Is that good or bad? You let me know. Uh, accuracy, I'm saying that's probably about an inch and a half. And I, I don't have any issues with that out of a factory uh, remanufactured ammo. Uh, just for comparison, and we're gonna do this here a little later on, I uh, got some 77 grain. This is the uh, Magtech. It's one of my favorite brands. They don't make it anymore. Uh, so in the next video following this, I, I, you will see me testing some loads. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and save that group. And I'm gonna go on the dot right beside it. And this, the, the reason I like the 77 grain, and we're gonna talk about this a little future for, a little bit more in the, in the upcoming video. Uh, it is, it is, it's matched perfectly with this reticle. So any, anything out four or 500 yards is not even a problem, even out to six. So here we go. All right, so you see that. But the cool thing is that you see the muzzle brake on this thing. Uh, Ultradyne, in my opinion, make the best muzzle brake on the market. Uh, that was even a standard deviation on that was 28.57. So as you can see in comparison with the others. So the 55 grain uh, up above, man, I'll tell you, that's a great group in comparison with the Magtech. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, so anyway, Callaway Ballistics, they're a supporter of the channel. Uh, they're providing the ammo for testing and having a lot of fun out here. Thank you guys. Uh, go to CallawayBallistics.com. And uh, like I said, if you use the uh, discount code, or you can actually go to my website, kb32tac.com, and that'll take you to the link over there, and it has the discount code on the website. But that being said, man, it's fun to get back out on the range. Uh, we got a busy weekend this weekend, and it don't involve guns, unfortunately. So with that being said, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.